What's up, folks? I'm Chris, your MLB writer here at Occupy Fantasy, here with a look at the eight-game main slates on FanDuel, DraftKings, and Yahoo this evening. Um, interesting slate tonight, and honestly, the big picture thing that we need to look at before we look at a lineup that we want to build is the weather tonight. We have two spots on the main slate that are pretty concerning. It would be the Reds and the Red Sox at Fenway Park in Boston. Uh, 100% chance of rain tonight. Our model has a pretty significant decrease forecasted for hitters. In that environment, it's going to be a little chilly, 54 degrees at game time. Same situation in New York City. The Angels at the Yankees tonight, 100% chance of rain. Now, the weather uh, experts out there, meteorologists, actually expect that the Red Sox game will be okay tonight. The Yankees game a little more risky. Basically, Kevin Roth or Roto Grinders is your source for that. He's an actual meteorologist. We're not. That's who we trust. Uh, so kind of keep an eye on that. Yankee plays are going to be uh, something to keep an eye on up through lock tonight. And that's important to us because, as always, as you know by now, we like to start by looking at the top pitchers available to us on a slate. And tonight on the main slate, the number one starting pitcher, the number one starting pitcher that we're looking to roster in our DFS lineups is Nestor Cortez here with the Yankees. Cortez off to a phenomenal start to the 2022 season. He has 53 uh, innings pitched across nine total starts this year. So that means he goes routinely into the sixth inning. You see he's a uh, relatively healthy one, minus 175 money line favorite here against the Angels who have actually seen their strikeout rate increase throughout the season. They are the second easiest team to strike out across Major League Baseball over the last 30 days right now. You'll notice the theme of this slate is which left-handed pitchers do we like. Cortez certainly is the number one option in that uh, mold for us this evening. Uh, reasonable implied uh, team total against of just over three runs. Um, projected for the most strikeouts on this slate at 1.23 strikeouts per inning pitched. And Cortez with a really reasonable uh, recent stat cast profile as well in his favor. Now, Robbie Ray is another lefty. He's facing the Orioles tonight. That is kind of interesting. He's not having the same type of season that he had in 2021 when he won the Cy Young, but he still brings a lot of strikeout upside to the table. You see we have him forecast for 1.17 strikeouts per inning pitched tonight. We look at Robbie Ray's rolling year average. So from June 2021 to present, he is averaging 1.27 strikeouts per inning pitch, so a little higher than what we have uh, anticipated in our model against the Orioles this evening. Minus 150, money line favorite. A little bit of a higher uh, team total than Cortez against the Angels. And most concerning, perhaps, the StatCast data here. Uh, Robbie Ray is allowing pretty hard batted ball contact and pretty far batted balls over the last couple of weeks of his outings see that he is in the top half for exit velocity. And as far as batted ball distance concerned, he's right there as well. So we got to be a little concerned about him in this spot this evening against the Orioles. We've actually been hitting the hitting the butt baseball pretty well recently. Had a lot of success at Fenway Park uh, over the weekend. So maybe they will continue that tonight against Robbie Ray. We'll see what our stacks dashboard says in a minute. Other options on this slate are pretty gross. We have a really expensive Tariq Skubal against the Minnesota Twins tonight. So just by virtue of price alone, I may be looking for ways to maybe go somewhere else here. Uh, it's basically a coin flip money line. Line movement is in his favor, and he does uh, project for over a strikeout per inning pitch tonight. But I don't love this spot. The Twins are, are hitting fairly well, and they strike out below average. So I don't think Skubal is in a really good spot to succeed. And we have some concerning batted ball exit velocity on his resume this evening. So that's the argument for why I think I'm going to be trying to get away from him. Bailey Ober doesn't really typically pitch deep enough into outings to qualify for a win. Uh, very important on FanDuel, less so here on DraftKings. But at $8,200, when there's a couple of other pitchers who are in better spots tonight that are also in that same kind of fringe five-inning starter role, I think I might look to roster those guys instead. And those guys are the guys ranked right below Bailey Ober. It's Jeffrey Springs with the Tampa Bay Rays and Garrett Whitlock with the Boston Red Sox. Uh, Springs is facing the Rangers. The Rangers strike out at a high rate. Rangers are one of the higher-ranked stacks in our model, so he's more high-risk than this ranking suggests. But decent favorite. He's thrown uh, 20 and one-third innings over his full last four starts. So, you know, traditionally this is a pitcher that has been – a reliever slash opener, but they've actually stretched him out a decent bit. Uh, so he's definitely viable tonight, especially as a secondary pitcher under acting to $6,200. Garrett Whitlock against Cincinnati Reds at home at Fenway Park for a little bit more than Springs. Uh, minus 215 money line favorite. Uh, projects for 1.1 strikeout bring pitched. Gets a bump from the weather. I mentioned off the top of the video here, the downgrade to hitters. So we like that with Whitlock tonight. And Whitlock's uh, batted ball distance allowed one of the lowest 
on this slate for all starting pitchers. So those are basically the guys I think that you want to focus on tonight in your lineups. Cortez, Ray, Schoolbull, Ober, Springs, and Whitlock are probably where the field is going to go uh, with their lineups tonight. I'm skipping Ober, and I'm looking to get Springs or Whitlock for more of my high-risk starting pitcher two options this evening just as a salary play, basically. As always, when we look at the stacking options, the first place that I like to look is who do we have ranked as the worst pitchers on the slate? We're very confident in our pitcher model. And does that correlate with what our stacks dashboard tells us? So tonight, first teams that we want to look at when we flip over to the stacks dashboard, Chicago White Sox against Hunjin Ryu are the number one option just based off of this page. Um, we think that Ryu's the least likely pitcher to be optimal tonight. We think he's probably the worst pitcher on the slate tonight. And a lot of that has to do with his low strikeout upside and his stack has to be a little concerning as well. Reed Detmers against the Yankees. Kyle Bradish against the Seattle Mariners. So let's see if the White Sox, Yankees, and Mariners are highly ranked stacks in our model this evening. The White Sox are number two. The Yankees are fairly close to the top here. And the Mariners are fifth. Interesting, we have the Orioles as the number one OF index stack against Robbie Ray who is our number two starting pitcher in the model. If you've been a subscriber here for a while, you were with us last year, we saw this a lot. Um, Just demonstrates how high risk Robbie Ray really is. Ray allows elite isolated slugging contact to all hitters. So he's the type of guy that can give up home runs and it just destroys his fantasy outings. However, he can also just strike everybody out and destroy the hitters uh, and their upside while really racking up fantasy points quickly. So that's how you get those conflicting rankings with Robbie Ray and his opponents on a pretty frequent basis in the Occupy model. The White Sox tonight, pretty interesting. Number two by OF index, number one by projected isolated slugging, number three by projected weighted on base average on the main slate tonight, but just a 3.72 run implied team total that puts them in the middle of the pack on this slate. Actually, I put them towards the bottom on this slate, yeah. White Sox are an excellent high-risk option tonight against Hunjin Ryu, the worst ranked starting pitcher in our model, and there's more to that when you look at the salary distribution tonight. I'll show you that in a second here when we go to build a lineup. The Orioles are really interesting. The Orioles have a lot of cheap hitters in the model. Uh, Obviously, number one by OF index, number two by isolated slugging. Weighted on base average, which, again, we find correlates the most with fantasy point production. A little lower for them, and a really low implied team total. So I think the Orioles pretty high risk tonight. The Texas Rangers with a very, very low weighted on base average and implied team total ranking, so they've got to be high risk only. We're looking for some low risk hitters or some strat, some some of the uh, popular chalky stacks tonight. Probably the Boston Red Sox and the Seattle Mariners. We've got reasonably high implied team totals. We've got the number one and number two projected weighted on base average projections with the Red Sox and the Mariners tonight. Those are probably some of the safer stacks to roster tonight. That's why the field will be all over them. Certainly look to use them. In our builder this evening, the Chicago White Sox popped in over 60% of MME lineups uh, using our criteria, you know, primary stacking, four man or five man stacks on DraftKings. The White Sox were in 60% of a 300 lineup run for me. And I looked at it a little closer and it's pretty obvious to me at this point in the day that it's a salary play. These are our top five White Sox to roster on DraftKings or FanDuel tonight. And you notice the most expensive one is Luis Robert at $4,600. If you try to build a team with the Boston Red Sox and you look at their most expensive hitters, we have four guys that are $5,500 or more that our model is going to like tonight. Devers, Martinez, Story, and Bogarts. Uh, You go over to even the Mariners. The Mariners have uh, guys that are all more expensive than these White Sox hitters. With the White Sox, we have three hitters available, three top hitters available to us that come in below $4,000 on DraftKings, and even the top end guys are not that expensive. Over on FanDuel, it's really the same thing. I can show you this in the Occupied model. The White Sox have uh, a most expensive hitter on FanDuel of $3,600 with Luis Robert, and you can pretty easily get you know the top five or, or four of the top five, four of the top six hitters in the anticipated starting lineup in your DFS lineups tonight. So if you're using the lineup builder at OccupyFantasy.com, don't be surprised tonight if you get a lot of Chicago White Sox in your lineup. They are not only a very highly ranked offense against the worst starting pitcher in our model, they have a lot of salary flexibility that actually allows you to go and get a couple of the hitters from some of these potentially more popular stacks tonight, like the Red Sox, like the Seattle Mariners. And I think that's the path that I'm going to travel down this evening. Going back to our stacks just to run through the matchups in more detail for you. The Baltimore Orioles are facing left-handed Robbie Ray. 
the hitters on the Orioles that hit lefties the best that you should focus on if you're playing that angle tonight. Trey Mancini has an elite isolated slugging and weighted on base average against left-handed hitters of the last year. Number one hitter in our model uh, for the Orioles. Ryan Mountcastle, at, in another first baseman play, has a the highest isolated slugging against left-handed hitters uh, over the last year of his plate appearances. Those two guys, number one, number two in the stack, I do think they're the best plays on the Orioles against Robbie Ray this evening. The White Sox. Love these guys at the top of the order. They crush left-handed pitching like Hanjin Ryu. And Ryu not striking out guys at a high rate. I think the White Sox are a good play tonight. I don't think you have to overthink that one based off of everything I've already covered in this video for you. Boston Red Sox facing right-handed Hunter Green with the Cincinnati Reds. Green allowing an astronomical 367 isolated slugging, 430 weighted on base average to right-handed hitters. That means guys like Kike Hernandez, J.D. Martinez, Xander Bogarts specifically match up very well with what Green is weak against. But don't shy away from a guy like Raphael Devers, who's one of the best hitters in baseball, and he actually hits right-handed pitching better than anybody else in this Red Sox lineup right now. So just because he's a lefty, don't avoid him against Hunter Green. This is a great stack tonight. It's just an expensive one at the high end, and that's why it's a little more difficult to roster. The Seattle Mariners against Kyle Bradish. Bradish is... Um, going back to our pitcher model, Bradish is someone that we should look at a little closer just so you understand this. Bradish allowing the hardest batted ball exit velocity on this slate, and the fifth furthest batted ball distance to opposing hitters over the last couple of weeks of his outings. Bradish, really good target with a stack this evening. Uh, he's a right-handed pitcher. The Mariners will send uh, Ty France, Julio Rodriguez, Eugenio Suarez, Mike Ford is who we're anticipating as a cheap first base play as well, uh, to the plate against Bradish's right-handed hitters. These are all guys that are in good spots to succeed against Bradish, but obviously lefties like Jesse Winker and J.P. Crawford, Adam Frazier, these guys are fine to roster as well, and our model has picked up on that for you here. A lot of different ways that you can attack this slate. Keep an eye on Nestor Cortez, top pitcher. I do think you want to get him in your lineups if that game plays. This game could get postponed tonight, in which case we're going to have to revisit and uh, figure out what we want to do this evening. Over on FanDuel, really easy to go with Cortez and four White Sox bats. Still have 30 75 per player remaining for your final four spots. Uh, I think that's the way to go tonight. I think that's what I'm going to try to do anyway. Keep an eye out for the daily plug at OccupyFantasy.com. We will have that updated by about 5.30 p.m. Eastern. And in the plug, we will have our final rankings for the slate. We'll adjust for whatever postponement news that we get or don't get. And we will make sure that you are up to date on what we think is the best plan of attack for this evening's main slate on FanDuel, DraftKings, and Yahoo. As always, for Occupy, I'm Chris, and we will talk to you tomorrow for more MLB DFS.